Hey everyone, Lance here. This is something I've been wanting to do for a little while and just never gotten round to sort of looking into it. But today I'm going to be putting a sensor panel LCD screen into my PC. The first hurdle I had to overcome was the fact that there's not really anywhere that it can go to sort of not distract too much from the alien design. And you'll notice I do have a box here and this display is what I'm going to be putting in there. This is from, I don't know how to say that, Barrage, this brand here. I actually got this from AliExpress. I'll overlay the link here with current prices, but it wasn't too pricey at all. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. And I have had a quick look at this and the quality is actually quite nice. So in the box, you get all the bits you need. So we've got micro USB cable, we've got an extension for the RGB. We have a, an HDMI to mini HDMI cable. Obviously the mini HDMI will go onto the screen. We've got a little bag of hardware. And in here is a metal bracket and that bracket is important because the screen is this. This is the screen here and the bracket allows you to mount it along radiator screws. So I am planning to mount it somewhere here because the main goodness of the PC is kind of below there and I'll lose on lose out on some of the aesthetic points of the motherboard that I do like but this is going to be far more useful so looking at this it's got a nice brushed aluminium surround not the biggest fan of having that brand name down there this is actually also available from formula mod who people that watch my channel will see I bought some little adapters for the GPU power that hide the cable away essentially. On the back you can see you've got acrylic backing, you've got channels for the cabling to go through and if you can see in there that's where the USB and the mini HDMI plug into on the board. We then have some mounting options up the top and I'm assuming the LED will illuminate through the acrylic. I've gone ahead and mounted the bracket and I've done it this way up and this is going to go in between the fans and the radiator. There's quite a bit of thickness on that so I didn't even want to try and get it above the radiator because then that's going to mess with how all of these lines of tubing are going. So I'm going to do it between the fan and the radiator and then my next problem I'll need to look at is whether there's actually going to be enough clearance for the front panel of the case. So I'm going to test fit this into place and fingers crossed that front panel will clear it. This bracket you can also see along this edge you can move it along so I could potentially mount it here but have the screen sitting off to the right over here. I should probably also mention the specs of this display are it's an 8.8 .8 inch screen it's not so at all is it it's printed on the back 60 hertz so 60 fps out of this whether you do much that would really need that's another question but hey and it's 1920 by 480 so it's quite a high resolution little screen this thing and i have plugged it in and the image quality is actually pretty nice so i've done a test mounting yes let's see if that clears this I better get that cable out of the way oh my god it's so close but it does clear oh my god that i couldn't ask for that to be any better so now with the cabling I want to run it up through a hole in the top rear of the case behind there so you won't see anything. And then in the back here, there's a little fold out flap 
and that's for the hard drive bay quick swap or hot swappable hard drive bays I'm not using it for that I do have the Wi-Fi antenna going into there just so it's not sitting out and to keep it all tidy so I'm probably going to run these through there as well so I'm going to have to whip this off route the cabling and then put it back on and I'm very happy with how quickly this is all going famous last words So up here, there's a little hole, if I reach around the back, you should be able to see my hand on the other side, which I think you did and could. Now I spin the case around and you can see this goes into the case and then this little cover would screw on here. I might need to cut it or temporarily leave it off for those cables, but I can loosen it off to give a bit of room for these to move which is how I've had it before so let's see how we go I'll cross that bridge when I come to it now we're in the back and we've got the RGB we've got the HDMI and we've got the USB I'm thinking just due to length I need to be careful with how I run these two but I do have some spare length to go around and through the back like I say I have no hard drives in here if you're doing this and you do have hard drives in here probably choose a new location and it keep maybe one bay free for these cables but now we're poking out the back of the case can you see it I don't know if it's too dark but we have an HDMI here we also have a USB, an unused USB here, and we can stuff that into that bay and tuck that. It's in, it's installed, the cables are routed nicely around the fans so when you look in from underneath there's no cable that can be seen. I did give up on the LED strip on the back as I thought there was enough lighting in the back there from the lights that are on those Corsair light loop fans anyway. Maybe I'll revisit in the future but I know that there's not actually enough of the right headers on the motherboard anyway so maybe a splitter in the future for now I'm not too bothered what I am bothered about though is that I didn't remember that my CPU has no integrated graphics which means that this nice tidy cabling can't stay there sadly so what I'm going to have to do is remove my second monitor for now which is connected via HDMI the 3080 only has one HDMI port sadly so then this is going to have to come out and down through here which still tucks away and is hidden kind of nicely back there I'll need to figure something else out for my second monitor but now you might not be able to see but we've got my start menu along there so now let's get in and do the software side of everything It does look good though, doesn't it? I came up with a fix for my port connection dilemma. So I still have my second display connected with HDMI and my first display. And now I am using this HDMI to display port adapter. So that goes just to this little bit here where the HDMI plugs in and that's double sided taped to this part of the GPU bracket that then runs up and then this I've bent out a tiny bit to give a bit of clearance for those cables. So now when we look at the whole case, the outside of the case looks nice and tidy and you can see I've been playing with some sensor gauges there. So here on screen I have the exact product that I purchased from AliExpress. So this cost me about that much, 142 New Zealand dollars and about $20 shipped. 
I've done a little bit of digging and actually found that the Formula Mod version is exactly the same and it's the same seller, as far as I can tell at least. They also provide the same Google Drive link for all the setup software and everything and they might be providing dodgy versions of Ada64. Seems like it. So if I load this link up, I'm going to wipe all of mine and just start it all fresh to show you guys. So download, download anyway, it's saying that it's too big to scan for viruses. So I'm going to go ahead and download anyway, I'm not too worried, but you can scan for viruses yourself. In fact, I'd probably encourage you to because your computer, it's your responsibility. I'm going to extract this to downloads and we then, this is what I've just extracted here. So there's a tutorial on what to do but it essentially runs you through basically putting all of these fonts into your Windows font folder. I didn't do that and didn't seem to have a problem, I just basically didn't want all of this kind of bloat on my machine. So instead what I did was go into Ada64 Extreme, that folder here, and we want to run Ada64. So it's launched down here, and we'll give it a minute. And it's not coming up, but we can right click it and click on the settings here for some reason it defaults to another language so what you need to do is once the settings open up click the globe here and then we want to go to English and apply and OK so now we have the correct settings so we'll go to preferences once again and we want to go to sensor panel we want to go show sensor panel uh, we can tick some of these depending on preference but save that till last we want to make sure that the sensor panel size is 1920 by 480 and we'll go apply I'm just going to reset position to bring it onto this screen and we'll go OK so here's a default for some reason in this version the degrees Celsius has been set to this symbol for whatever reason I don't know but now we want to right click and go to this option and this will be in English after you reboot your PC as well but this option here gives you the sensor panel manager so we want to go import and we want to go to downloads again into that English folder we extracted and templates there's a few various templates this one seems to be the tidiest looking and so voila we have this so we want to change these so these are these ones here the one with the bar graph saying temperature if we go modify and value slash unit just hit default and OK if you want to move them you can select them and just click along to here I'm just going to leave this for now so we can close this we also want to make sure I just forgot in Ada64 preferences go to general and we want to load it at Windows startup and make sure that close button minimizes I like to set it to minimize minimizes as well that's pre personal preference and then apply and OK so this won't be my final display or my final sensor panel but it's probably the nicest one they include and it is a good starting base so once it's done you just 
essentially drag it onto that little screen as which is an additional screen so that side of everything what you want to do is right click on your desktop and go display settings and I've got the screen here but you can click on it and I've had set to landscape flipped that's to basically get it with that baroque word at the bottom uh, and having been mounted at the top so that's how I have done it and I have also put it up here so I can't accidentally move off to the left or to the right or whatever you like and I've also set my PC to only show the task bar on my main screen which is my main ultra wide in the middle here so to do that you can just right click and go taskbar settings and it is show taskbar on all displays and I've set that to off so once this is done you can drag it across oh we need to close that little window drag it across and after you reboot these options down here will have things like lock and position be the top thing on the display and you can set those how you like them I'm not going to restart because you, you'll get the gist of it it's pretty self-explanatory when you set it up I wanted to get in close and show you guys a few things so you can see here the cables are tucked away nicely in front of those fans not to impede any airflow below but I'm not so happy about this gap here between the radiator and the fan so that is causing air to bleed out the side and after last night's gaming session I noticed that there's more air coming out of here than I'd really like to that could potentially mean that there's less air going through the radiator meaning less pressure obviously that air is not being forced through the radiator it's going to take the path with the least resistance being if it can deflect and bleed out the side there's not going to be optimal airflow going through that radiator like I'd want and it may be placebo but I noticed that it seemed to be getting higher temperatures than previously ever since I've done this ever since I've done this I should say so I'm thinking of instead of mounting it on the top of the fans in between the radiator and the fan I'm going to mount it on the lower side of the fan mount here so my solution for the gap between the fan and the radiator ended up being that I just flipped the screen up the other way. Mounting it on the lower side of the fan meant that you saw a little bit of the edge of the fan and it just looked like too much going on. So up the other way it went and that fills that space at the top of the case really nicely and just gets rid of that blank black panel from the side of the radiator. The only thing that might begin to bother me is that the brand name is upside down and backwards but I'm just going to leave that and live with that for now. I might try remove it somehow maybe with paint strip or something like that down the line but for now I'm not bothered I'm just enjoying the screen in there. You can also see I made a small little graphic with Ripley in the middle in her space helmet. I've got some GP, uh, GPU on this side, CPU on this side. So we've got temperature, utilization, and a little graph. Frequency, I've also got voltage and watts used, and then an FPS counter in the bottom right. That's all I'd really need. It's probably more than what I'd look at on a day to day basis, but I've got the room for it now, and it's not going to be on my main screen. So I'm happy with how it looks, happy with how I did it, I just cut apart some of the templates that they included and basically the background is just a PNG file and I cut sections out and then overlaid different things and adjusted the existing overlays from their, their things so I'll play around with it and try and get something a little bit more advanced that doesn't look too cluttered but for now I like the simplicity of this. But anyway guys, that's all I really had to say about this one. It's a nice easy project, probably take you a couple of hours, maybe less. And I just love how it looks, it's filling out the case really nicely, it looks quite classy and a lot nicer than some of them out there can do. So my advice would be to just look for something that you think would fit your build. Obviously the brushed aluminium fits with some of these other silver bits and the shape and size fit perfectly with the rest of my case layout so that I'm really pleased about 
But that's all I really had to say on this, guys. I do thank you all a lot for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. Check out my socials down in the description below. And the links for this from AliExpress and from Formula Mod will be in the description also. And hey, I'll see you guys in the next one.